Hashem Yidbarach, He opened the sea specially for those two to join Am Yisrael. Even those two wicked people that were the tiniest, less important people in our nation, people that chose not to join our nation in our redemption day. They chose to stay in Egypt, but then they regret. They say, nah, it's boring here. We'll go party with Am Yisrael. For sure they're going to have much fun with Hashem in the desert. It's a desert party. Who knows what's going to happen over there. They said, you know, lightnings and, and, and thunders and Torah are going to come from here. It's a big party. Hashem Yitbarach opened the sea specially for them. That's against all odds. That's against our logic. We cannot understand that. But the loving kindness of the Creator to make wonders, to make miracles for people is open in an equal way for every human being. Like the Tana de Eliyahu, the righteous man, holy prophet Eliyahu Anavi, he is testifying and, and saying in his book that it doesn't matter if that person is a man or a woman, if he's a Jew or not a Jew, not a convert, even not a Jew from another nation, if that person is a slave or a free person, only corresponding to the purity of his intentions, that's how much the Divine Spirit will hover on him and he will be able to enjoy Ruach HaKodesh, Divine Spirit of Hashem, means the spirit of prophecy. A regular person, a random person, even a non-Jew that walks in the world, even a slave that you, a slave it means that he's all bothered with 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 with, with his work. He doesn't have even time to do to do nothing for himself. He's working for his boss. He's he's not free at all to think and to have spiritual life and to develop and to work on himself. Nothing. He's a slave. He's suffering. But if his heart is aimed to Hashem, he can become prophet. He can receive true, real prophecies. And to see the voice, to see the voice of Hashem, to know Hashem, to feel the, the presence of Hashem, to understand the essence and purpose of life. And it's a gift that is offered to every person in the world. And the only thing that is taking it away from you again and again and again is your despair, is your sadness, is the fact that you give up on your goals and on your dreams and you change your mind and you decide to take another path and to aim lower and to achieve less. But if you're not going to back off and if you will work hard on your will to aim it to the highest places of them all, you will be answered. Like that Moshe Rabbeinu been answered. He wasn't answered because he was Moshe Rabbeinu. He wasn't Moshe Rabbeinu when he was just Moses. He became to be Moshe Rabbeinu, our rabbi, the leader of our nation, after working hard for 80 first years of his life. But before of that, it was just Moses. His name was Moshe. That's it. But he worked hard, so he became Moshe Rabbeinu. Avraham Avinu, he was not Avraham Avinu. He became a father, became a father only when he was 99, 100. Only then he became, became a father. Before of that, he was Avraham, regular Abraham, that was walking from one place to the other with his truth and going and, and distributing the light of Hashem and talking and convincing people. And he was just a person that was doing his job and he wasn't a Jew. We're talking about a person that came from Ur Kasdim, that came from Aram. A person that came straight out of hell and decided to make a change in the world. He was not Abraham Avinu when he started. He was the son of Terach that was worshipping idols and he himself saw the idols and he grew up in his house and he was a Ben Nida when he came to the world at all. And his mother never went to the mikveh. And his father never learned Torah. And everyone was suffering over there. And it was hell. And the kingship over there of Nimrod was all corrupt. And it was deep, deep darkness of exile in those ancient days. There was no heaven over there at all. People were executed in the streets. People were dying in the streets. Nimrod was a very evil king. It was a horrible life over there. 
But he decided to go and to fight and to find Hashem. And after 99 years, suddenly he became to be Avraham Avinu. So you look at yourself and you look at your face in the mirror and you hear the opinions of other people about you and you listen to those foreign thoughts of criticism and, and despair that are talking to you consistently in your mind. Look at you. Who are you? Why you think you're going to succeed? You're never going to make it. You're a failure. For sure you're going to fail again. You failed so many times before. You don't have a chance. You're worthless. You're hopeless. Look at you. You're stupid. You forgot it again. You failed again. I I'm not recording you in your houses. I have the same voices in my mind. It's, we're all going through that hell. Just the only thing is that we need to fight against those voices and not to give up.